It's recording. Ready? Yeah. Okay. First question is from Lewis Park, and he says, "Why the hell are you so funny? Like, nah." All right. Um. I don't know, I'm just naturally I do what I do, I don't really try to be funny, I'm just being myself and who I am, and yeah, that's it. Next question is from uh, Chris Wild. Hello, Chris. Hi, Chris. How dumb did you feel when you finally realised the power lines aren't the Eiffel Tower? Chris Wild from Sheffield. Oh, you know, so I never feel dumb, I never really feel dumb about that because then the idea, it looked like Eiffel Tower and me just come to England, me never know, me check says a mini Eiffel Tower and enough people it tricked to know only me. Probably trick you too, Chris. Yeah. Okay, the next question is from uh, Vanessa Duncan from North London and she says, what do you think about women who do their makeup on the bus or public transport like at 6, 7, 8 a.m. in the morning? They get on the bus looking like something from Michael Jackson Thriller and get off the bus looking like a backing dancer in a Beyonce video. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, girls with the makeup on the bus, yeah, or any public transport at all, and I've stopped that. Because in the idea, yeah, we have to see what you look like before the makeup. And we have to see what you look like after the makeup. So you can't trick away again, innit? Like, we have to know what you look like. And only that, man, have to take some pride in yourself, man. Like, me no care. Wake up extra early. Go bed early, wake up extra early so you can find time to do it in your house. Unless like maybe you have a mirror in your house and you're trying to use the bus window or something, I don't know, but yeah, don't do it. Okay, and uh, the next question is from Harley Jones, doesn't Harley. say where you're from, but they say, yo, my name's Harley Jones. Yo, I, Harley Jones. I think you're funny as fuck and can't stop laughing when I watch your videos. The question I wanted to ask you was, do you live in London? If so, what area? Because I'm sure I've seen you somewhere before. Anyways, sweet G. Alright, um I don't know if I go tell you where I live and which area. I don't know, I really tell people where I live like just like that. You know what I mean? But um yeah, I am in London and um I live in South London, that's about it. So if you see me just say what well, I go on in it, like say yo I mean say yo and I say go. Next question is from uh, Ashton Hudson and it's from Brixton in London. He said, uh, do you ever wonder why we as humans exist? What purpose do we serve? And what's the meaning of life? Deep. Boy, you know what? We exist, we exist for um, probably many reasons, isn't it? Like, probably we just don't know it. Um, I don't know, I have to think about that one. That one is a good very, question, huh? That one, 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 Ashton, boy, you got deep Ashton, like, you study life on them things deeply. Um, my purpose for this world is to make you laugh. That is my purpose, so, I don't know about everybody else's, but um, we must serve a purpose. We're not just there, I live for the sake of living, innit? Like, that don't make sense. We all have a purpose, you know, and, and, and it's just we finding out every, our purposes. My purpose, I feel right now, is that I just find out that you know, like comedy is a talent that I have to, like being a comedian and things. So, um, yeah, we exist for, for the sake of. You no, know, no, that one had deep. That one, had, that one had deep. That one had catch me. You know, you know. I will come back to that one. We come back to that one. That one is deep, dog. What do you mean? What we exist for? Okay. Next question is from uh, Maricela Sebastian, and her question is. What's your favorite meal? Favorite meal? Wow, alright. Honestly and, and, and truly speaking, my favorite dish is, or my favorite meal is oxtail rice and peas. Yeah, like a coleslaw and some tomato slice up. I eat that. Yeah, oxtail. Oxtail are the best thing. Next question is uh, Claudine from Warsaw. She says, uh, how did you come up with Captain Jamaica? Who will be seeing any more of him anytime soon? All right, Captain Jamaica, yeah. Um, him real, him exists. He's an actual superhero. Him just did, he never want to go giant with the adventures and them thing. You know, him, him kind of been an outcast or doing thing. 
and him really, really exists. If, if I call for help loud enough and him hear you if he's not busy doing something, mm -hmm. he might come in it, like, but if he's busy, he not going to come. Um, you got to see more Captain Jamaica, a lot, lot more, and big things that come up for Captain Jamaica. We are working on it right now, and I fly. Sorry. Yeah, more things are come for Captain Jamaica. Captain Jamaica is going to be really, really big soon. Next question is Rena from London. And her question is a serious question, she says. How was it for you as a white man living in Jamaica? Was it hard for you? As it is some black people living in England. Much love. Um, being a white man living in Jamaica was not hard um, because nobody never looked for me no different. Um, me and my friend them like not once colour coming in the situation when anything can happen in Jamaica, whether it's in my schooling, whether it's at home, whether it's just socialing, socialising, no colour situation never come up. Nobody never yet said to me, say you can't do that because you're white or you can't get involved because you're white or we don't want to talk to you because you're white. In Jamaica them things don't exist. Like to me Racism don't even exist in Jamaica. That's how I feel personally because there's, there's all different type of races in Jamaica. There's we have white, we have black, we have Indian, we have Asian, we have everybody there. So, yeah. Next question is from uh, DJ Mari, aka Amari in Hackney. He says, "Where are you really from? Are you really Jamaican? What car do you drive?" Yes, I am really Jamaican, and yes, I am from Jamaica. Um, at the moment, I drive a BMW, German whip. See me rolling in a German whip. That low wind doesn't teeth it on that. Next question is from uh, Jordan Irvin. She says, hello Prince Harry. This is Jordan from Jamaica. I enjoy all your posts made on Instagram. I can always get a round of laughter whenever I watch them. Thank My you. question is, when you forward... When you are forward? Yeah. Sorry, I'm speaking. English. Jamaican. When you are far with a Jamaica. Come keep a show. Come keep a show. I know myself along with hundreds of Jamaicans. Yeah. She know herself with enough Jamaicans. We'll come support your show. We'll come support my show. Keep doing what you're doing, bossy. Keep doing me at the bossy. Much respect every time. Much respect every time. You hear what I'm saying? <laughs> bossy. It's not bossy, I'm bossy. I'm just, you know, English, so them still. Um, I don't know when I go forward to Jamaica. Um, it's all about timing and, and what happens. You know, like at the moment we're just still building um, the basics right now in the UK because that's where I'm based at the moment. I'm living in the UK. So I'm just. No, man. Sorry, I'm flying. Yeah, so we just have built the basics right now and obviously we're branching out. Yeah, we want to bring comedy, my comedy to the world, like everywhere. And Jamaica, I'm definitely becoming Jamaica to do my show. I'm from Jamaica, so obviously I have to come back there and, and make it happen. But thanks for your question and, and, and yeah man, big up yourself too. Alright, this next question is from uh, Mackay Salmon. He says, hello, I'm one of your Instagram followers, at Mr.Moves27. My name is Mackay, pronounced Mackay. My question is, what inspired you to do all of these hilarious videos? P.S. Could you follow me back please? Okay. Um. Alright, what inspired me? Basically, um, me never really, me just, me, me just start doing it, you know, like naturally, me just start talking about things that happen in my life and um, things that going on in general. So, um, you know, Instagram had videos and everything there. There was a app before Instagram called Keek, and that's where I used to do videos. But on there, I was just, as I said, I was just generally talking about my life and what I do and what's happening on a day to day basis of, um, what you go through in relationships or with friends and you know make up videos about Jamaicans and that and it just ended up that it started to grow into a thing where it became a habit it's almost like I was addicted to doing them because of the feedback I was getting from people people used to show me so much feedback so in a way my inspiration probably come from you guys the followers that are showing me love so I was like I keep feeling like I need to give you that back things you know and um, yeah um, we get around to try and follow you, but to be honest, it's like my, my Instagram is kind of very structured right now with um, my management and that, and then kind of we have to keep an eye on what we're doing on there and things like that. So, yeah, thanks for your question, though. What was your biggest fear? All right, my biggest fear would be um, the fear. Because right now, like, failure is a big, big fear to me because my, my, 
I'm working, everything I'm doing is not just for me, it's for my family, you know, for my son, for my partner. And I, I, it's like, I want to make sure they are right in life. So I feel like if I fail, then I fail them, you know, because they, they, my, son, my son looks up to me, my, my son likes what I'm doing, you get me? Like when him here say, daddy named up on the radio, and him here, yo, them big up, they, like a radio DJ bigging up his father, him smile, him go to school and tell all them friends, so what he knows what I'm doing is something good, so to fail would be my biggest fear. Alright, what, what's your greatest achievement? Um, and that, that's so varied because it can be in, in your comedy career so far, it can be in your life, you know, because obviously would it be your, your family and your son? Yeah, all right. with, with my biggest achievement, is, uh, they, uh, they, like, my biggest, biggest achievement is, is being a father to my son, isn't it? Like, that is my big, that's a big achievement for me. Like becoming a father and having my little boy and you know, everything, he kind of looks up to me, you know, so like that, that's an achievement for me. But um, comedy wise, I feel like a um, big achievement was doing my own shows, like branching out and doing my own shows, putting on my own shows, like selling out a show in Birmingham was probably a big achievement for me because not a lot of comedians have done that in such a short period in their career and still a lot of comedians can't do that. So to me, that's a big achievement, and um, there will be bigger ones coming. I do hope. If your son could only learn one thing from you, what would it be? To respect women and never hit women. What grinds your gears most about people? Um, what grinds my gears about people? Few things, not just one. Loads of things. Um, stupidity. When like silly people, people who are just dumb, like literally stupid, stupid people. You know, like the people who work in a supermarket and you buy your shopping and them thing there and then you get to the till them and ask you, do you need any bags? Well, when I go put them in a, my pocket, eh? Will you have a help carry them home for me? Of course, I'm going to need bags. That, that, the question is stupid, so that's one of the things. Another thing is jealousy. I hear people are jealous, um, envious people. Well, jealousy and envious, same thing, yeah. And, and people that hate, like hate for no reason. Them thing are grimy gears. You know, people that just hate for you because of the sake of hating, like you have people that will hate upon you because you're successful. How can you hate upon somebody because they're successful? That means that you're a failure in life. Then, if you hate upon success, that means that you will never success in life because you don't like success. You would always want people to fail, so you have to fail to them, innit? So yeah, sorry, mo. You know, yeah. Answer your, <laughs> your, your, your worry for question them. Okay. Um, the next question is uh, Shay Dolan from Luton, but right. I think um, the questions Shay had have already been asked. And um, the question is, where are you originally from? <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> ice cream, man. I want ice cream. You used to get people. Can I get ice cream? Also? Okay. Yeah, can I have one of the yeah. flakes? No. Okay. This one is uh, Dwayne from NW10. And Dwayne says, uh, what's up, brother? I'm a big fan of your stuff. Originality at its best. My question is, what do you think about the conspiracies regarding the Illuminati and the secret government and all types of stuff? Do you think it's real? Also, what part of London are you from? Yeah, well, South London. Um, I mean, I really want to talk about them something there, you know, the Illuminati and them thing, them, you know, them people we are watch me right now. <coughs> I don't know on that, you know, me just, just believe in yourself, yeah, man, don't really. But, uh, sometimes, uh, you know, I've tell you the truth, sometimes see the plane come back again. <laughs> Illuminati, that, you know. You <laughs> <laughs> see it. They have no end of them, no end. No, no, no. Yeah, but anyway, you know what I say? I just I say, um, I really follow what people say. You see this whole Illuminati thing and that. Uh, there might be people that have an organization that, that deals with stuff, but sometimes hype is caused, and um, people build a hype over certain things that don't exist. And you know things just carry on like a like a rumor that's just continuously being spread and people associate everything with it. Yeah, but I don't really believe in them thing there. I'm gonna really follow them up like that. And I'm gonna do me, I'm gonna do myself in it like yeah. Okay, next question is from Rymany Adams from Nottingham. What do you do for a living other than comedy? Um make Instagram video. <laughs> No, um, at the moment I am not working because I'm, I'm, I'm a full-time comedian. I am, this is a career that I am taking on or doing. And before that I was working, I used to do youth work and delivery driving. Um, 
but at the moment it's just comedy that I'm doing. I do my own shows. So in a way you could say, all right, I'm a comedian, I'm a host, I'm an entertainer, um, I'm a I I'm an event event planner, event manager. Become put on my own shows. So that's what I do apart from just stand up comedy. Kofi Nelson says, "Can you say bacon without it sounding like beer can?" Beer can. Yeah, but it sounds like beer can. Beer can. Beer can. No, you're saying beer can. Me, I say beer can. A beer can. Bacon. Or bacon. Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> beer can. Sure. Thank you, thank you, Kofi. Mark from Handball. He says Messi or Ronaldo or Fred and why? Fred. Why would he put Fred in there? All right. First off, yeah, Fred. We never know. Like, we know who Fred is, but. First thing, Fred is not a Brazilian. Like, you ever hear about a fo Let's think about the Brazil football team back in the day. Ronaldo, Ronaldinho, Roberto Carlos, you had um, Jorginho, you had um, Rivaldo. Do you hear what I said? Do, do, do. Where the do? Fred. How that fit in? Like, him, him, him get lost, man. Like, him didn't just depend on, um, depend on a holiday and never come back. You know, left European, one European country and go to Brazil and just stay there and never come back. Your parents probably go up on honeymoon and leave him behind. Say, so, yo, stay. But don't want you with me, stay here. But Fred, should leave me the question. Ronaldo versus Messi now. Alright. I mean, you love football, so this is very good. Um, I'm going to choose Messi. No, I'm going to choose Messi. I would have chose Suarez, you should have put Suarez in there, right? You should have put Suarez in there instead of Fred. Now, to me, Suarez better than the two of them. The reason why, look what Suarez do. I don't support Liverpool. I'm glad he left Liverpool now. Yeah, good. Real Madrid in there now. Now you're going to see real talent shine. But I would have chose Suarez out of, them, out of them if you did put him in there. But because you didn't put him in there, I have to choose one. Um. It's difficult. Them, them two different players. Them play two different positions, isn't it? Like, me prefer I, me prefer Messi because I feel like Messi play more with the team, more than Ronaldo. Ronaldo more play for himself, and him is a more selfish player. Where Messi play with a team. You know, Ronaldo. Would, to me, Ronaldo would have liked to have a team consisting of just him. Like, he wouldn't mind if he could play every position. It'd be like him versus the whole Brazilian team or the whole Barcelona team. So I choose Messi because Messi is a better team player overall as well. And he's a, I feel like he's more talented and skillful. Yeah. From Eden Taylor from Birmingham. And uh, they want to know how do you feel about girls who sleep around? Alright, listen, yeah. Like, girls that sleep around, yeah. Um, that is their problem, and it? Like, that's their business, isn't it? Because in the idea, yeah, like, it's down to them, innit? Those, that's the life they choose to live, that's the, what they want to do. They do what they want to do, but just know say somebody like me now go wife you if me know say you sleep with a bugger person because then the idea that is it's not wrong, it's not right, but as a matter of fact, it's neither because it's just down to you, innit? Like it's, it's it's a person's choice. You just know that you can't wipe that out. You know, you can't look down ten years down in time and you be like, Oh, yeah, when 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 we did ten years younger but did sleep with like 50 persons in a one year and then you tell your husband that or your, your partner at the time and expect him to be like oh it's not a problem it's okay no 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 mm. mm. me not feel comfortable with that me, me don't want my girlfriend if you have done that and then me get with her so girls don't do that to yourself but at the end of the idea it's your choice what you want to do get some money if you can at it eh? do so okay and uh, Leighton Cooper Says, uh, what do you think about blue waffle? What? <laughs> oh, is that some smear food or something like what? What's, what's that? Blue, what's that? blue waffle? Google that. <laughs> blue waffle is a disease. Okay. And the last question from the emails was uh, Daniel from East London. He says, what football team do you support? When will the video be made? Alright, um, the video will be made now. I know it's being made, as you can see. 
Um, Arsenal, Gunners, straight. Boom, big cannon. Yeah. Okay, and then we're gonna move on to the um, the Instagram questions. Um, and the first one is from uh, Jordan. I. What inspired you to be a comedian? P you people, innit? The people, the, the followers, the, the supporters, the fans that have been following me and, and supporting me on this journey. You guys inspire me to do this because basically what happened is people used to tell me when from my videos that I'm funny, you know, like they, I, I should do stand up. That's what they said to me. They said, why don't you do stand up? Why don't you go try it? And then it made me try it, innit? And then from there, I like it and it worked for me. And then I just start to grow more and more and realize, say, yo, I actually can do this thing. You know, it's actually a talent that I had that I didn't know. And it's just me being myself. So that inspired me to um, become a comedian. You guys out there that assured me so much love. Love and no home. Some of these Instagram names are hard to um, read. So if I don't read it, I apologize. But I will read your question. Um, the next one is uh, from sassy for you underscore. Any, sassy for you. Any future plans in performing in the New York area? Um, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, it's it's something that we're working on. It's not as easy as people might might think, in it because I do notice there's a lot of people always asking me about um when you're coming to like flood flood. Where is it Fort Lauderdale or wherever? Sorry about my pronunciation. Um, Miami and all these areas and it's not like me have a private jet at the back of my house so I can say yo me I go do a show or something like that no um it's in the plans it's all works and it's also down to promoters need to holler at me and it like people that put on comedy shows need to try get in contact with me and make we make something happen in it because my fan base is out there you know I've got a fan base all over from the states Canada jump Caribbean even all in India and Australia, I've got people out there that support me. So it's it's about the promoters getting in contact with me and my manager and making this thing happen for my fans. But we do plan to come there even if we have to do it ourselves. But we have to work here first and do the, the basics and then, yeah, definitely. FR underscore free the drive. Free the drive. Why do girls chat the most shit, brethren? <laughs> It's got you in it. One <laughs> One Yo, you know how um <laughs> you know cause you have some guy with chat enough shit to in it so <laughs> it go both ways in it. Sometimes man chat shit, you have some man they will chat like yell, like proper like yell. You know, but um you know I don't I never say them chat shit sometimes we have to understand, see women yeah, right? Let me say I'm honestly say this and this is the truth, yeah. You see women, girls Women's strength is their mouth. That is a woman's strength. The biggest strength a woman has is their mouth. You know, I'm telling you why? Because physically they're not stronger than men. So they will use their mouth to hurt you. And women can women can say things that really hurt we guys. And we know that women can say things about we like like we don't like it. Like they will, they will embarrass you in front of your friends. Like they will come outside and, and cuss you in the big street where we men won't do that, innit? Like we will keep it in. So women strength is their mouth. That's why them talk. But I don't say them chat the more shit because I don't know my girl don't do that to me and if a girl does that, I just walk away from it. But um, yeah, we do it to it. Everybody do it. Uh, Mali underscore WDB says, what kind of music do you listen to? Um, obviously, I listen to um, Jamaican music, Bashman, um, Big Up Idonia, I did it, did it, did it, Donia. Yeah, I'm a favorite dancehall artist that you don't know. Um, Barry Salmon as well as a singing artist from Jamaica. Them are my favorite artists. Um, but Bash, apart from Bashman music, which is the obvious music, dancehall music, um, rap, I, lot, I listen to a lot of hip hop like um, Meek Mills and uh, um, Rick Ross and all that, you know. So, yeah, but we mix it up. I listen to Afrobeats as well, I listen to house music. I, listen, I like good music. If, if a song, if a music sound good, I will listen to it. If a song sound good, I will listen to it. I will give it my time. So I like all music, but preferably dancehall, then hip hop, and then anything else after. Who's your favorite comedian? My favorite comedian is Kevin Hart. I respect the man. You know, like um, his work rate is ridiculous. Like the man constantly working hard at his craft and. And, and delivering for his fans and that and I feel like 
it's not say my cup, I'm not, I wouldn't say I copy him, but I can see traits in him that I have as well. And naturally, I am doing things that I didn't realize. So I look up to him. I, you know, Kevin Hart is, to me is my favorite comedian. You know, so if you're watching Kevin Hart, if you ever see this, holler at me, man. Maybe we'll do something together. You know, some collaboration or something. You know, people want it. Them call me the Jamaican Kevin Hart. I don't know why. I'm not sure. But, yeah. All right, next question is uh, approximately how many times have you said blouse and skirts in your life? And what does it actually mean? <laughs> Blows and skirt is, is like a swear word, but you just it's not it's, it's clean, isn't it? It's like you you can say it because it, it don't really offend anybody and nobody. It's not like it's a bad word, so it's it's like a abbreviation for saying something like like Jesus Christ. You know, you can use Jesus Christ as a, as like Jesus Christ, blows and skirt. You know, it's like a um a shock, like raw. You know, so it's not it's not, it, that's just what it is. And I don't know how much time I say it in my life, but. Yeah, say it a, a few times, you know. Okay, um, JD, J94, if you had a pound for every time someone asked you if you are really Jamaican, how rich would you be? Wow. You know what? Uh, I would have probably owned the world. Seriously, I would have probably be one, I would have been on the Forbes list by now. Like, literally, up there, top, 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 top. Like, me and Bill Gates would be rubbing shoulders together. For every, I would have get a pound. Every minute me get asked that, every day, every, every every second, like people ask me, you know. And so, yeah, I'd probably be one of the richest man in the world. Blue Moss 7 says, Would you rather be a jerky or a barber? I like my father, so I'm going to be a barber. And Blue Moss has come back with another question and said, uh, Some of these questions, I might as well ask you another. So you have some decent ones to respond to. Would you get back into music? And if you did, would it be serious? Not necessarily serious, as in conscious, but just not comedy based or parody stuff. Um, you know, Big Up Loomis, I actually remember from, from your name now, I know who he is or not. Um, big Up Yourself or not. Um, music wise, you know, when, when they had the music before, it was more a hobby but I never really take it serious. At no point I did take it serious. So um, even if I didn't know, I don't think I would ever take it serious. It would be more just for um, entertainment factors. So yeah, um, I could probably put out music which is which is which um, would be conscious so somebody could listen to, but I would never say I'm going to stop the comedy and focus more upon music. It would probably do something that it, it works hand in hand where it's something that my fans would want me to do and they would appreciate me doing it. So. Um, that's the only way I do music is if, if, if I feel like my fans would want me to do it as well because I like to please my fans. Now, I don't, I, I mean, one thing about me, you can always reach out to me. Like I like me hear your name and I know who you is and I've never met you before so I know who you are through the fact of that I am a person that I'm very in touch with my, my following and my fans and my supporters. So, um, but if I did music, um, I wouldn't take it serious. I would only do it for entertainment with Maybe along with my comedy and that, so I'll try to make it funny, but um, you never know, you never know. So, um, the next question i got is, um, I noticed that you wear a lot of hats, yeah. and uh, do you have a particular sort of pattern of dressing where your hat matches your shoes, or you try to match the top with the colour of your shoes? No, you know, so I ball my ball, my actually ball, so more time when I go to the bar, but I get a shape up, I just throw on a hat still, that's how I wear that hat, but no only that I draw me on my man. But, no, I'm seriously bald, but um, I'm, not, I'm not scared of my ball, it's neither. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not in fear, right? Like, you know, it, it happened, I come to terms with it. But, um, yeah, man, obviously you have to dress and match. Like, uh, some people come out and wear blue hat and purple t-shirt, like, like, that don't make sense. How, how you, how you, where the patterns come in, where the colour, like, where you do, run in your closet. How do you feel knowing that you make people laugh? That's from Brandon. H A Z three L L. Big up Brandon H Z Z L L on Instagram. Um, how do I feel knowing that I make people laugh? Um, you know what? Uh, that's that's probably the biggest joy I get out of this. Like knowing that I did something and 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 people like the thing about it, I get people commenting and telling me that I cheer up their day and like watching one of my videos made their day. And if they ever have a downtime, they can come and watch some of my stuff and it makes them feel better. So, to me, that's like the biggest joy out of doing comedy. 
is to make people laugh and th- that, that means I'm doing my job in it because if I'm a comedian and people are laughing that means say uh, well yeah you're doing your, that's what you meant to do so I like that question man big up yourself can't remember your name but big up yourself and then can you cut shapes if so do a video all right well um I'll get some scissors and papers and cut some shape you know, circle and things like that. I can't do all them things. Eh. If I sit on that, I can't do it, but if you stand up, the leg and the hand them don't, them don't, them don't work together. It's too much, too much things for them. Yeah. Yo, right now you're watching live TV show. No? <laughs> TV show. <shit. laughs> it sounds like when, I used to, when we used to record at that, yeah, I keep saying the wrong word. Well, live TV show.